to take site context into Revit, open InfraWorks. Uh, you need to create model, type in your address. And then once you navigate using Bing Maps from OpenStreetMap, you name your file, select the area you want to take in. And using BIM 360, you can then select a project folder, which is hosted in the cloud, or you can save it to your server or desktop or uh, local PC. And that just takes a couple of minutes to upload. And once that's done, you can then open the model within InfraWorks. Downloads it from the cloud and that's stored in your BIM 360 account that's attached to your Autodesk ID. Just takes a few moments for it to open and that's just gonna bring in the site context that you've selected for your site. So this could be any site and um, generally within cities, it does have the buildings uh, modeled to a certain level of detail uh, more rural areas might not, um, but it's good to have a look on, on OpenStreetMap. And this is free to access with, within InfraWorks. So you can see there it's brought in the context. Um, it does add some materials and imagery to the buildings. may not be accurate, but you can just use it as, a, I suppose, a conceptual massing to, to set your building around. Um, so here we have Woodkey in Dublin, uh, Dublin City Council offices. And you can see it's brought in some uh, the topography as well. So how the, how the, uh, the the lay of the land and and uh, it actually has a, a the flow of the river in there as well. Uh, and these can be edited as well within the InfraWorks tool. But for the purpose of this video, uh, I, I'm just going to bring it straight into Revit just to give some context. It could be the early stage of a project. You want to bring in in some surrounding buildings. So there's various options for appearance that you can change there. Uh, and you can you can edit the river to for to appear a bit more realistic as well just as a flat surface uh, but you can see it's brought in, in in the falls of the land there as well um, and they may not be entirely accurate but but it's good as i said at an early stage of a project to bring in context you don't have to model at all uh, and it can be directly brought into into your, um, your uh, revit file as well so to export it And you can see you can select the buildings as well. It also gives you some of the names of the buildings or landmarks as well. And to export it, you just go to export 3D model and export it entirely, uh, the entire model, or you can just select a certain area to export as well. So I'm just going to replace the previous file that I've exported. And you can see you get an email through to say your, your, your model is ready to download. And that comes directly through to whatever email account you have linked up to your Autodesk account. I saved it to my documents on my, my local drive. And now I'm just going to open up Navisworks. Navisworks Manage. And this is just going to allow me to import the model into Navisworks and then to export it. Uh, to Revit and to be able to link it into Revit as well. So I'm just going to open up the file that I exported from InfraWorks. Click open. And you just through, do this through the append uh, command within Navisworks. And you can see it's brought in immediately there. It's, it has brought in the, the imagery and, and site context as well and, and the Bing map in the background also. You can see you can rotate that in 3D. So you could even bring it directly into Navisworks so there's a, there's a direct workflow there. Um, but to get it into Revit, it's necessary to bring it into Navisworks in, in this method. So just under the output tab, you're gonna send it to an NWD file name the file accordingly just click OK and that's going to publish that to an NWD file so 
uncover dcc root key click save now once i go into revit i'll open up revit Once so I go into my, my 3D space or any space, you just go to your insert tab. And we're going to link in a coordination model because it's an NWD file. Just add and set the positioning however you want. You can share coordinates, so it will bring in the, the coordinates of the site as well. Save you having to input them. Just click OK. Apply. Click OK. And you can see it's brought in the, the 3D context. Now it doesn't bring in the imagery. Um, but that might be such a bad thing if you just wanted to show it as, as a contextual model and then you're able to model your building and place your building accordingly as well.